Alright. So, I have no idea what I'm listening to the show. Alright. And we're watching Mature Muscle Fitness. Yeah, y'all gotta tune into it. Um, wife and kids, gal. What happened, huh? I did that. Anyway, so I'm watching uh, my homeboy, Mature Muscle Fitness. And he's at, the one said, uh, well, I ain't that cheap. Talking about taking, well, hell, anything, really. Y'all, help me out. Riddle me this. Isn't that cheating? You can cheat to look better, feel better, live longer, be stronger? Well, if that be the case, then why the hell ain't everybody cheating? <laughs> there is no cheating. You can't cheat. Life does not allow it. God set up this setup pretty cool. He said, look. Here are rules. Now, you can do as you wish and break whatever rule you wish if you're willing to pay the price. For instance, you could say that Rich Piano, you could say he cheated. Or you could say that he paid the price. But think about it from this way. Maybe his life was cut short. But you know his name. You could say that Arnold's paying the price. But you know his name. I don't know if you ever watched Troy. Brad Pitt in there. <laughs> you know, Brad Pitt. But... It stuck with me whenever he goes up. And right there at the beginning. He's about to go fight. You know, King can't find his ass. He's out sleeping with some girl, you know. And he comes out of his tent. Some little boy looks at him and says, Are you going to go fight that man? I wouldn't fight him. It's the biggest man I've ever seen. He grabs his shield and says, that's why no one will remember your name. We all have different goals. That's what I'm trying to get at here. Some people want to live a long life. Cool. What are you trying to outlive? You're going to die. There's like a hundred, oh, 99.99999 percentage chance that you're going to die. If you ever live, now that's a whole different ball game. I don't know if you'll live or not. Unfortunately, most people don't. I'll tell you what you do, though. Why don't you go ahead and secure your afterlife? Study that. Me, personally, I believe that the one who has walked closest to perfection was Jesus Christ. That is the map to me. He was at peace the majority of the time. He changed the world. He spoke boldly. He pissed enough people off by the time he was 33 that they killed him. But his name is in the history books forever. And if you're a Christian and you're not pissing people off, you might want to reevaluate how close you are with Jesus because this is not the pussyfoot little, you know, tiptoe around, don't step on anybody's toes religion. This is the one that took over the world. I mean, granted, religion of peace, but when you have to fight and you've done everything possible to not fight and be peaceful. Righteous indignation will destroy ten men that have to fight. The one man that doesn't want to will. As long as he's prepped. Prepare for the worst, hope for the best. But nonetheless, back to cheating. 
that's impossible, guys. Is there a risk that if my saber-toothed fish dog, monkey frog mouse, if he were to use a research chemical, it's probably about like you eating that in Big Mac. As a matter of fact, I bet I could name more ingredients and what they do short term and long term then you can name in that Big Mac and tell me what they do you eat trash daily and then you bitch about other people trying to enhance their lives you hypocritical son of a bitch shut up it's really not even laughable anymore. You're just damn annoying. Quit being a bitch. And get on board. Let's become the best we can be and help each other out. And show each other the best way that we can find. So that we can together become better. How about that? If you catch yourself saying isn't that cheating. Remember you can't cheat and go is there any validity to what they're doing and could it benefit me and my goals. It's the only thing that you need to be tripping about. Become the change you want to see in the world and you are no longer worry about what the hell the world's doing. The people that are like you will be drawn to you and you will live a life that will be fun and memorable. No one remembers the one. Everyone remembers the one you're whining about. Become the one that other people bitch about. It's that simple. Philosophy by Seth 101. Peace.